28 Day Challengers. Welcome to week three or day 15 of the 28 Day Challenge. So how are you doing this week? I am actually doing really, really great. And I don't have a lot to teach this week. I just really want us to start talking about the habits we're making. This week, I just want to talk about how you're feeling in regards to getting this tiny thing in your life and making it work. How are you doing with it? This is what I want. In your video, I want you to talk about, one, how you're feeling about your habit. Is it starting to get ingrained into your life? Have you ever noticed yourself doing the habit without meaning to? Uh, this is something that we have to start observing. Number two, I'd like you to tell me where you're lacking that habit. Are there certain days that it's just not working? Is there certain places or moods that you're in where you can't stick to your goal? It's time to start observing where it's not fitting into our life. Because the first couple of weeks when we're working on our habit, we're still figuring out the routine. We're figuring out how does this fit into everything I used to be doing? How does this mold with the identity I'm trying to form, with the habits I'm trying to make part of my everyday life? So the first couple of weeks, we can't really just listen to our feelings because we're going to be frustrated and we're going to be going through a lot of other processes as well. But now that we're in the routine a bit, it's time to start thinking about where does this not jive with how I'm living right now? And then from there, the third point is, if you found anywhere where you know you can improve and you know why, what are some small steps you're going to take so that this week you're getting a little better at do, remembering to do your habit or doing your habit, depends on what your habit is. I'm doing pretty well. This week I did a little bit better with the reading. I read five nights out of the week instead of only four. And I actually missed one day of dishes and making the bed, but I have a perfect excuse. They turned off the water in our building, so I couldn't do dishes that morning. Plus there were only like two, so it didn't really seem like a pressing issue. And Corey made the bed before I could get to it. Thank you, Corey. So I didn't have to do it, so I didn't get X's on that day. But otherwise, I did it every day. In answer to the questions, how am I doing? How am I feeling about my goals? I actually feel really great. I'm, I'm starting to have that uncanny feeling of uh, awareness about the habit coming up. By the time the day really starts to get into motion, I'm very aware that I need to make the bed and do the dishes. I also should note that I have spent, I think, my entire life putting off doing the dishes. <laughs> I really don't like doing the dishes, and over the years I've sort of accumulated a, a respect for doing it. It's kind of soothing and it's ritual, and so I do actually like the process now, but I still have the old habit of putting off the dishes as long as possible. But no longer. I have done the dishes every morning for the last two weeks, save for one morning, and it actually is like part of my routine now. When I wake up, I kind of think, oh, the dishes need to be done. That's how I start the day. And at night, tidying up the house, putting all the dishes in the sink, getting all the trashes collected for the next morning so that there's nothing around the house that needs to be handled in the morning is great because then I wake up and I don't have to worry about that stuff. And I used to be consumed with trying to get the house in order before I could start my day, and now it feels like it's pretty much in order when I wake up, and that's amazing. As far as the last habit, reading, I am loving reading more. Making it part of my 28-day challenge simply made me have to read a lot, and I wasn't, and now it's kind of like I expect it. At the end of the day, if I don't get my reading and I feel like I've missed a little chunk of me time before sleep, it's very peculiar how that was not part of my life for so long, and yet just introducing it for a couple of weeks, I feel so much more like I should have been doing that all along, and I'm so happy I'm doing it now. The only place that I really failed this week was in exercise. I did not get my bonus sticker. In fact, I didn't work out at all. Um, that's okay. I'm disappointed that I wasn't able to, but I did pull my butt muscles, and I was having difficulty for several days doing anything. And today, when I thought that I would be able to go for a run again, I woke up and my hip was killing me. So I'm not there yet, and so I didn't get my sticker, and I'm not make it, meeting that goal at all. But uh, that will happen in time. The only place I'm really struggling with my goals is on a day when I have a lot of things to do. I get really upset that I have to also do these cleaning things in the morning. But again, that feeling is going away. It used to be really prominent. Like in the morning, I was like, oh crap, and I have to make the bed and do the dishes. But now, my morning sort of revolves around that routine of breakfast, getting ready, and then cleaning up a little. And so... You know, I think that that's just going to beat itself out over time. Over time, I will just stop feeling like it's an obligation and start feeling like it's just a way of being. 
So I hope this week finds you guys well. We are at about 75% dropout now, which is very sad for me. It's kind of bittersweet. Um, it's very awesome that there is a huge collection of you all who are still working towards your goals. You're building habits, you're finding it's working, you're finding that you're changing and you're liking how it's affecting all your other habits. And there's so many people though who haven't replied that that's the huge bitter part to the sweet, awesome life changes that we're making. I hope that you guys keep pushing forward and I will see you next Monday for the last week. And then we'll have one more video after that, week five, which isn't actually a week we're gonna do, which will be the wrap up video. Take care.